All right, um, I think I'm live now. So my name is the, the Good Jake Ward, and I'm gonna be running the game Open Season for the Game Boy Advance. And so I was the world record holder for this game for a while, and then just this past week, someone actually broke the world record. So not only am I gonna be showcasing this game for you, for you guys today, um, but I'm also gonna be trying to get that world record back. So the world record right now is 25 minutes and 47 seconds. So we'll see if I can do it live for you. So without further ado, let's get started. So we are, are going to select a save file and then the time is gonna start when I select the difficulty and I'll, I'll do a countdown for that. But we'll just make a new save here. And then we are gonna be doing easy. So the timer should start in three, two, one, start. So basically here, this is the tutorial level. So we have those shortcut scenes that I'm just spamming start to get through. And then for the majority of the game, I'm gonna be rolling. That's your, your fastest movement in this game. So basically any, anywhere I can, I'll be rolling. There are a few places where you have to stop to uh, press B to attack things in this tutorial level. Um, but then there's just a bunch of cutscenes, And now we're gonna go on to Pony Mart. And I'm just spamming start through through this to, to get through it. But so this is based on the movie open season. Um, the first one, I think there's like three of them or something. But so we have Boog is the big bear, and then there's Elliot is that deer that gets him into trouble here. So this is the second uh, tutorial level, and again we're just gonna be rolling. And generally, like it's it's slower to stop and fight guys than it is to just run right through them. So as, as long as you're, you're good on health, that's basically the strategy that I'll use. So right here I will have to kill one of these guys just so I don't die. And that'll be this guy up here. Just use my melee on him. And then just go towards the end of this level. It's pretty short. So now we get tranquilized and now we get sent to the real levels. So in a, a second here, we are going to get to the level select screen. Um, and one thing that's cool about this game is you can play the orders in whatever, or you can play the levels in whatever order you, you want. So there are certain levels that we'll play first to unlock certain weapons to make the other levels go faster. So right away, we'll go to Skunkland. And the reason that we go to Skunkland is because after you beat a certain level, uh, you unlock the animal for that level so we'll unlock skunks as a weapon so that's what we're trying to do here so right here there's these boxes that if you break them these rabbits come out and they build a bridge it's extremely slow um, there's a few tricks that I've found to get them to go faster I'll be showing one of them in just a bit so the the tranquilizer dart blurs your screen a little bit that is not just pixelation from my poor streaming quality I promise my stream is good So another type of animal that we got in these boxes are these beavers, and they'll chop down trees that are in your way. And yeah, Elliot pretty much does nothing for the rest of the game. He just sort of holds the, the checkpoint flags. And you can also buy stuff from him. So we'll be buying a few upgrades later. Ah, that was my first death. That did not mean to do that. That's okay. So that'll add on a few seconds here. Shouldn't be anything we can't make up though. I think the world record does die one or two times, so. Just gonna roll on through. So each of these levels has three areas. So that was the first one. Now we're on to the second one. Rolling on through. Another rabbit bridge. Again, these things take forever. We're through these platforms here, if you fall, you die. So you have to be a little bit careful, but it's not too bad. OK, 
Okay, we drew. Um, so these bars that we pick up here, they're called woohoo woo bars if you've seen the movie. Um, and th that's what you use to buy upgrades. So we don't really worry about c collecting them all because we only need a certain number to buy the upgrades that we need and we'll get that just running the game naturally. But in the 100% uh, speed run, you do need to get all of those. And there's quite a few. But we are doing any percentage. So then right up here, after this beaver breaks this tree here, there's a special type of, wo of woohoo bar that gives you in invincibility. So we can just sort of roll through everything as fast as we can and get to the end of this area here. Okay, so in this third area, we are going to use a trick right here to speed things up. So there's a rabbit bridge inside this tent, and immediately upon breaking it, we're going to go outside of the level and then back in, and the rabbit bridge will be built. So we don't have to wait for it to build because it takes so long. So that's the trick that saves five or six seconds. So there's another be beaver box in there. Dodge that boomerang. So right here, there will be a very small skip where you're supposed to go to the left there, but I just fall off this platform and then fall to the left and we get to this rabbit bridge here. And then right after this rabbit bridge, I'm gonna be doing a trick called the double jump thorn glitch. At least that's what I've named it. Um, basically when your wall grabs into thorns, the game stops you from jumping up, but for some reason you can still jump off in the opposite direction. So we're gonna get hit, go into the thorns, and then do sort of a double jump where we jump up and then off to the left. So you aren't supposed to get through that space that I just got through. Uh, but I did. Um, in this instance, it doesn't really save any time. It's just for swag points. So, but there is a place in the run later that it will save some time. So, all right, we're at our first boss. Um, it's this truck with this hunter in it. And basically we're just gonna spam our melee and it's really fast. Dodge the hunter one more time and that's it. So we're done with that boss. I think we're doing decent on time. 6.30, not bad at all. And we're just gonna spam. And we get back to the level select screen and we're gonna go to Rabbit Land. So the reason that we needed skunks is because here in Rabbit Land, we're gonna pick up these skunks and that's what we're gonna use at the boss. It saves a bunch of time. So rabbit or land is this like mine shaft sort of thing. Those uh, red radiator things there will burn you if you stay on them too long. So I'll, I'll be jumping when I'm on those. Make sure they don't burn me. So this this level is pretty straightforward. Um, another interesting mechanic about these levels is so one of the levels is called Beaverland. And at the end of that level, uh, there's a dam that breaks and it actually floods two of the levels, one of them being this level right here. So it, it actually produces this alternate version where there's water everywhere um, and you, you'll die if you fall into the water. So it makes it harder. And that's why we save, be we save Beaverland for the end. That way we don't have to deal with that. So that'll be the last level that I do. But so one of the reasons that we want to get to rabbit land as soon as possible is because rabbits as a weapon are super OP. That's what we'll use for most of the boss fights, except if it's not a viable option. Um, and, it's, and it's what we'll use for the, the final boss as well, which is shot. If you've seen the, the, the movie, then you remember him. So this is the end of the second area in this level, and now we're on to the third one. So this third one is not like the first two in that you're not just working your way from left to right, um, but it's actually like a maze. So we're, we're gonna start by going all the way down right, and then we'll work our way back up and left. So you just sort of have to re re remember where the route is. M moving along pretty good here. Jump over that bear trap there. 
Now this jump right here is important. If you miss that one, you have to backtrack quite a bit. So we break this duck box and then the duck is gonna fly us up to the final boss fight and I switch to my skunk weapons now. So skunks are what I'll use on this minecart boss. So he goes back and forth on the top track first and then down to the bottom track. But if you use skunks, you can get him before he ever comes down to the bottom track. So I missed there, but that's okay. So he needs five hits. I'm not hitting him very well right now. Let's see if I can get that fifth hit in. Got it. So that was that was perfect. So that's the fastest that you can get him is if you get him just when he goes back and forth and then he never actually comes down to the bottom track. So that's why we needed skunks for that. Um, for the rest of the weapons, you'd have to wait for him to come down to the bottom. So now we're going to do squirrel land. And we'll use rabbits now as the weapon for the boss against Squirrel Land. So, and I'm gonna buy the Rail Rabbit upgrade here, which makes you spam rabbits super fast. Um, and that's that's why it's such a powerful weapon is because once you get that upgrade, it's just super good. So we'll just roll along here as we do. I don't know how Boog doesn't get dizzy when he's doing all this rolling, but I'll take it. Certainly makes a run faster. So this is the third level that we have to do. There's five, five, levels before you unlock the, the final boss, Shaw. So we're, I guess, about halfway if you include the tutorial levels. And we're still looking good pace-wise. I, I think we're still on world, world record pace, so. So I actually did not mean to hit that box. That'll add a few, a few seconds. Um, what that does is it's a skunk bomb and it's pretty useless in that you can just roll right by, it's not necessary, but that's okay. Just a few seconds lost there for that cutscene. Um, I confused it with that beaver box right there. We're still making good time. Get some in invincibility here, run through all these guys. And that's the end of that area. So this is the third area, and in this area there are two uh, beaver boxes that you have to get. And we take this optimal route here where we break this one and then we fall right between that platform straight down to the second beaver box. And that's that's the, the fastest way to get those two. And if we do this next part really fast, we'll get up to the top before the second beaver even finishes uh, chopping down the tree. Yep, so just like that. So we're, we're doing good. That was optimal there. And that is the end of the third area in Squirrel Land. So now we're on to the Squirrel Boss. Um, and this is this boss is inside a tent. And he'll pop out in one of these four tents. And it's sort of RNG which one it is. So there he is, the red one. And we spam rabbits and it, 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 will, it will collapse the tent. And it takes more and more rabbits each time to, to collapse the tent. If you're fast, you can get this in just four tent cycles. If you're not fast enough, he'll go back in and then you'll have to wait for him to come out, back out again. That was not really good RNG because we got the two diagonal ones, but we still made it through. And now we know he's gonna come out of this one. I think it's like seven hits or something. Oh, that was more than seven. Oh well. All right, we're at 1350. It's pretty good, still on world, world record pace by 30 seconds actually. So now we go to Duckland 
And this is another one of the the levels that will flood when you do Beaverland. So make sure to do this one before Be Beaverland. And also, um, so ducks, which you get after beating this level, obviously it's called Duckland, is what we'll use against the Beaverland boss. So that'll help us out. So there's a reason to why we do these in this order. Wait for that water platform there. Go up here. So part of this level will have water though, and it'll have floating platforms that we'll have to go over. Um, and there's one skip there that I found. It's way small, but um, this this game is actually very well programmed. Like it's very hard to find skips, but so even like a skip that saves like two two seconds, we're happy about it. Um, I did find one out of bounds skip and I might show that after the run just because it just takes a minute um, and I'll likely be way under estimate so I think I put a half an hour for the estimate so I'll I'll show that out of bounds it's not super useful but it's cool that we just found one so here's the the water section so we have these logs that will sink if you stay on them too long Just gotta time your jumps right. And right here is a very small skip. So you're supposed to knock that barrel down and then jump on it like a, a platform. But if you just jump on top of the barrel and time your jump right, uh, it's not too hard to to make it to that log. All right, so here is the uh, Duckland boss. So this guy's in a hot air, air balloon. You have to hit his air balloon twice to knock him down before we can deal damage. And so when we get control of our character, first we're gonna get un underneath him so he can't see us and he won't shoot us. And then we're gonna get up here and try to do two hits. So we didn't get the two hits, we only got one. Uh, you have to spam B super fast and you can get two. Um, so we'll just have to do this cycle again. Um, it does add some time, so not ideal, but that's okay. We're still good on time. So now he'll, he'll come down, his hot air balloon will malfunction and we spam rabbits. And get him. So now we'll have to hit him twice again. So let's see if we can get the double hit this time. Got it. So that's good. So we didn't lose too much time there. And that's the end of that boss. It just takes two hits uh, once, you, once you, you get him down off the higher balloon. So. see in the chat that some people are upset that we're throwing live animals at the hunters. Not sure what to say about that. I did not think about that. But it seems that they are willing to help out. They're just waiting for me to pick them up. So, All right, so right here we're going to buy the Precise Duck. So that's the duck upgrade that'll make them homing missiles and then the Dinkleman Plus. What the Dinkleman Plus does is it allows you to hold 50 of each animal type instead of 30. Uh, the final boss takes like 32 hits um, with rabbits, so we need that upgrade just for that last two. It's it's sort of unfortunate that wish it was just 30, but I guess it's not, it adds like, what, a, a second or two to buy that upgrade? So it's all good. So here in Beaverland, there's a specific route that we're going to need to take coming up here. Explain more about that when we get there. Got our invincibility. Now on to the next area. So here we have another trick to get the rabbit bridges to go faster. Um, so I'll throw a skunk. Oh, I missed it. Anyway, so if if you throw a skunk at or, or uh, a squirrel, rather. I didn't have any squirrels, I forgot to pick them up, but squirrels are the best weapon for that, but you can have both of the bridges built at the same time. I think I missed, I don't think my skunk hit it, yeah. So, we'll have to wait for both of them to build, but that's a time save that I missed there. All right. So we'll take another duck here. 
have him fly us around. That, that has to be a seriously strong duck to lift up a, an entire bear. But So that jump right there onto that platform, uh, if you don't do it just like that, you'll fall down and you'll have to wait for the water to go up again. So here's the double jump thorn glitch that I was talking about. This is where it actually does save some time. I mean, you're not supposed to be able to get up to that platform there from that right side, but we did because we're smart. All right, we're gonna stay on this lower platform here. I used to go up to up to the top one, but I found it's faster to just go down here and then jump up here. And then, I forgot for a second, we're not going to take that box there. It's faster to just roll down and come down to this duck down here. So if we had hit that box and rode that duck, it would have gone really slow. I mean, you've seen how slow these uh, ducks fly, which is understandable. They have to carry a bear. So we're, we're gonna use squirrels right now to kill that ax throwing guy, that beaver. We'll also kill this hunter here just cause I don't like him. There's not really a reason for it. And then instead of that duck right there, we're gonna fall down to the right here, jump up on those platforms that we just cleared out and then jump down to here. And that saves a bunch of time over, um, you, you have to take like three ducks to get to this same spot. And I'm getting hit quite a bit here. I don't want to lose too much health for this boss. That should be okay. Okay, so we are now at the Beaverland boss, and this is the dam breaking that I was speaking of. I and mean, it'll break even more in a second. So we need to pick up some ducks, and I'm really low on health. Luckily, Elliot hands out health packs, but they don't really do much if you get hit right after. I'm gonna get another one of those. So the the reason that we use ducks is they're the only ones that can hit him when he is up in the air. And this is a horrible boss fight, actually. I'm not doing well at all. But I'll blame it on my health. Maybe I should have just let myself die. And I'm out of ducks. And ducks are the only one, yeah. So that was a bad boss fight. That might have killed my run, but we'll see. We'll see if I can pull it out here. Give me some ducks, please. It's one thing that sucks is the RNG on this, uh, on when you get the, the, the weapons. Come on here. Should just be one or two more more hits. There we go. Okay, let's see where we're at at time wise. We're at 2213. So we are still 20 seconds ahead of world record, even with that massive time loss there. So we can still do it. So we've unlocked the final boss now, Shaw's Shaw's cabin. And now we get this massive one minute cutscene uh, where the dam breaks um, and Boog ends up near Shaw's Shaw's cabin for the, the final level. So I just spam start through through this. We get past all the dialogue. Three more dialogues, and then we are on to the final level. There's the third one, and now we are off. So I will need to make sure I pick up 50 rabbits, or 40 rabbits, ra rather. Um, but there is a place to do that right before we get to the final boss, so. Now, using this just rolling through and not, not caring who hits me, uh, will probably leave us with around three health by the end of this level. It's it's two or three, um, and the the final boss can be beaten uh, without losing any health, so that should be fine. But if you're not careful, uh, there was a death there. 
So dying on this level sucks. You have to go all the way back to the beginning. So I hope that didn't kill world record. We'll see. I'll go extra fast. Almost died there. That would not have been good. All right, let's try this again. So this is the place where I died last time. So I'm gonna make sure to pick up 50 rabbits here. And again, this is RNG as to whether I'll actually get rabbits. Okay, I actually just need one more thing of rabbits. So we're good. Okay, so this is the final cutscene, and then we get to the boss. We got Shaw that comes in behind us. So it's it's a, a three-stage boss that takes place inside his house here. And the first one, we're just gonna spam rabbits. He tries to shoot the ceiling down on us. I'm not really sure why he tries to shoot his own house, but you do you, dog. Um, the second stage is a little bit trickier. So you have to wait for him to slide, and he'll slide back and forth three times. And if you do it right, you can get him. It looks like we are going to Perfect. And then what I do here is I line myself up in the in the middle of the room. If you're not in the middle of the room, Boob will move to the middle of the room and do this dance here. So it saves time to just line yourself up there uh, right at the beginning. This is the final stage here. And I will let you know when timer stops. But here I'm gonna use my roar to slow down time and then spam B. And then the time's gonna stop when I throw this this pillow here which will be right now. So, looks like time stopped at 26.15. So that was not quite world world record. Um, I was short by about 20, 30 seconds. Um, but I think I probably underestimated how hard it is to talk and play at the same time. Um, and nerves too might have played a factor, but don't worry, I'll, I'll be getting that world record. Some of those were easy deaths, and yeah, shouldn't be a problem. So real quick, since I'm still under estimate, I'm going to show you guys uh, this glitch, or this out of bounds glitch that I found. Um, so just here's the the end. Um, it says congrats, and now we should try on hard. Hard is actually interesting. It's a lot harder because, well, naturally, because it's called hard. Um, but the enemies all take three hits in, instead of one, um, and there's not as much health packs scattered around. So you probably can't do the, the run and gun method like I do. Um, it, you probably have to be a little bit more strategic um, with how you kill enemies. Um, so the out, out of bounds glitch is in this first area of Beaverland. And it's towards the end, so I'm just gonna go through here quickly. And it actually uh, uses the riot shield guys. That's that's what I, I refer to them as, but it's the guys that have those wooden shields that try to bash you. Um, and basically, if you get on this one ramp, you can get him to bash you out of bounds, basically. Um, so it's this guy right here, and we're gonna jump to lure him off, and then we're gonna have him knock us out of bounds here. So we're now out of bounds and we are falling. Um, we can fall to the left or the right, and you'll fall for a long time. Um, basically, you fall until the the y, the y coordinate in the game's code gets so big that it wraps around to zero. Um, and it takes a while. Um, so I'm gonna fast forward here. Since I'm on emulator, I can do that. And so yeah, this would not be useful in a run because you have to fall for like three minutes. And then once you wrap around onto the top, you have to fall for another three minutes. But it was encouraging that we found an out of bounds glitch because it's just seemed, yeah, this is not marathon safe and just that it takes forever. I mean, I, I guess it's safe. 
but yeah but yeah we we looked for out of bounds glitches and we couldn't find any it seemed like this was just a solidly made game um so finding that was encouraging even if it's not useful um so but you can see i've wrapped around to the top now and then i eventually fall and then you can go to the next area but thank you so much licenseathon for having me um it was a joy running this game um look out for me i'll be getting that world record soon um, and if you liked what you saw with this game, we'd love to have you join our, our Discord and start and start running it. So uh, look for the Discord link on speedrundoc.com. We have an awesome an awesome community around it, um, and we'd love to have you. So thank you so much. That's it for me.